So CDG, Comme des Garçons, is a French name, but they're not a French company. What? Hmm. Did you know that? I had no idea. Of course you didn't. Who is CDG? Which means, of course, I didn't. Could've known that. What's, What's up, C-Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy Z. I'm Daddy Son. Kick Talk. And today, we're talking about these kicks. That's right. It's your kicks. My kicks. The, we are talking. We're talking about the Comme de Garçon Converse. Mm -hmm -hmm. More formally known as the Comme de Garçon Converse Chuck 70 High. Just to be official, give you a full official that name. Too. Right? It is also called the Play Edition. I guess because they're play shoe? I don't know. Before we get into it, if this is your first time here, mm -hmm. thanks for visiting us. We hope you do us a quick favor and ring that notification boom down below that's right so you can be notified of our new content as we drop it so with that out the way we are getting into a shoe that was copped for nigel Yours truly over here this was a post holiday mm -hmm. present so it was the first sneaker cop in hand in 2022 yeah you know that no. You didn't really think about it. No, I did not. You just like, I got a new shoe. 2022, yeah. off to a banging start. Mm -hmm. We're just getting into a shoe that's it's more classic, right? It's not a new hype release. Yeah. It's not, you know, something that people are clamoring for everywhere, but it's a popular shoe. Yeah. It's a dope shoe. And I want to talk about Comme de Garçon. I know you want to get into the shoe itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're like chomping at the bit to get there. Yeah. Can we take a little time and get a little info no first? No problem. All right. So CDG. Hold on, Dad, Dad. Can we have the box in here at least? Sure. All the right. box. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, there we go. It up so you yeah. can see all your info. There we go. All right, Nike talk. All right, so CDG, Comme de Garçon. What does the name actually mean? I have no idea. What? You know what Garçons is? Gar I know it's the guy from Beauty and the Beast. Mm. Garçon translated in French means boy. Ah. So Comme de Garçon translates into like some boys. <laughs> what? That's what it is. I know. It's a strange <laughs> translation. So the founder of CDG, Ray Kawakobo, mm -hmm. started this line in 1969 and wow. it was a women's only line. Yeah. And then like 10 years later, she had a men's only line. Mm -hmm. And it was like the signature was the black monochrome yeah. outfits, right? Yeah. It was kind of, they call it like Tokyo Gothic because it's based in Japan. I love it. So it's a Japanese line. They do some distribution and I think manufacturing in like Tokyo yeah. and Paris and now Turkey. Yeah. But we went, when we went to um, Dover Street Market, that's what a lot of it was. Right. I was loving it. I was like, yo, this is sick. And you were like, it's all like gothic and everything. Yeah, it's all black. The stuff yeah. in the Dover Street Market was like every piece of item of clothing was all black. All black, yep. all black. I mean, they were tight. The designs yeah. were love, but and the prices were no joke. Funny thing about that, we didn't know we were in New York, uh -huh. Dover Street Market. That's was owned by. Comme de Garçon. I was walking around there like, yo, they have a ton of CDG stuff in here. Right, on like a lot of different yeah. floors. And they, That's tough. they have those stores, they have like a few of them, right? In uh -huh. England, I mean, London, in New York, yeah. some other places, but they align their Comme de Garçon with some other, you know, upcoming fashion lines, as well as some that are more established. They had, yeah. you know, North Face, Gucci, mm -hmm. Supreme, Supreme, all yeah. those types of things. Yeah. But there's some other, you know, lesser known stuff. And they've done tons of collabs with Nike, H&M. So they've done like luxury, streetwear, Hip-hop, you know, was yeah. kind of introduced and made more popular in this circle by, like, Kanye and Pharrell back in the probably, you know, mid-2000s. And, you know, they were signature. That's what I was saying a while ago. Like, I want to, like, dress like how they did back then. Like, when bases were a trend, mm -hmm. I love that so much. That's, like, why I, that's why I wanted them so bad. The, your current generation, everything is, like, slim fit. I think it's changing, though, a lot more lately. Yeah, no lie. I have absolutely no idea what I want to be like. What do you mean? I want you to be the best Nigel. I mean, like, like I don't know which aesthetic I want to fit. You know what I mean? Your clothing, your fashion. Right. I'm going to just do me, to be honest. There you go. Do you. They're doing themselves. Mm -hmm. You do you. Because mm -hmm. guess what? You can be the best you you can be. Period. Real. <laughs> And you got your sneaker love, mm -hmm. right? So that's like your base, your foundation. Mm -hmm. You can build your whole aesthetic from there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get some shoes you really like and build it up. Yeah. Feel me? Mm -hmm. All right. We're working here. So back to CDG. <laughs> that was the store, right? Dover Street Market. They own that. They had a big splash last the end of 21 with the foam posits. Mm -hmm. They released those yeah. again in their monochromatic style. Yeah. There was one that was totally black mm -hmm. and totally white. And you know what else was cool? The was CDG Air Force One. Yeah. That was yeah, cool yeah, too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they had some stuff on it, but they were still like all white mm -hmm. or all black. Except it was like some eyes in the back. <laughs> yeah, some designs on them yeah. or something. Right. And that's cool. that's their aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And then they're known, of course, by 
this, you know, logo, mm -hmm. which is the the smiling heart face. I think is it that what's on like the play stuff? Yeah, I mean it's on a lot of their stuff, but yeah, mostly like the t-shirts, right? All the play, yeah, the high fashion stuff. stuff. Just to make it clear, this isn't one of those like super expensive pieces that you'll see in Dope Street Market. Because all no, that no, stuff no. is like all the on plus all thousand whatever stuff. This is just like base levels. Come to Garcon, you know what I mean? But it's still, I mean, these retail cool. 150 bucks in their a pair of chops. Oh, true that, yeah. <laughs> we, go to, we go right down to DSW <laughs> down the street and get a pair of chops for like 60, 70 bucks. So yeah, this is double the price yeah. <laughs> for the designer sticker on it. So with all that said, you know, let's peep the shoe. Get into it. He's ready to get into the shoe. Let's please show the people what the shoe looks like. I'm gonna rip these guys out. Don't break them. Oh, oh yeah. You want the other one, don't you? I do. I, I do. just ripped the paper. I That's just ripped, all right. I just, you always rip the paper, man. I, rip it. I, don't, I don't do it on purpose. I'm trying to like keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? But it's whatever, because we got another shoe. <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah. It's another shoe. Yeah. It's another shoe. Yeah. What's the upper made of, Nigel? The upper is made of whatever Converse is made of. What would that be? Do you have any idea? I have no clue. What's it feel like? Feels like um leather. Leather. Are feels like denim. It does feel like a denim right material? Yeah. Or it might be known as canvas. Ah, it feels like Can canvas. Canvas, yeah. right. Right. Think about things that like just boat sails are made out of. I was just thinking that. Something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were just thinking that? Yeah. Boat sails. Uh huh. <laughs> There you go. I guess it'll be more sailcloth, but just durable, you know, like kind of worker material, similar to like, you know, your vans, right? right. That's why all the Converse, like base Converse is so cheap. Right. These are base Converse's yeah. as well. They have a little more cushion, I think, inside, mm -hmm. but you know, the overall shoe itself is your classic Chuck Taylor yep. construction. I like the off-white sole, the midsole, outsole. Yeah, off-white outsole. Yep. I like that. I like the black. I just love black shoes for mm -hmm. a moment of time. I like this heart here. Yeah. It's cool. It's like peeking out. Like they don't have the whole heart here. It's right. Funny. The smiling heart. He's just the peekaboo heart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because they have the others, like the lows that have like the multiple hearts, the small hearts mm -hmm. on them. Yeah. And then the, the high tops have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this again, like you said, is the play line. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And you got a white stripe down the middle of the back of the shoe. Yeah. And again, your classic Chuck Taylor construction. This is a Chuck 70, which is just the OG. Yeah. Of the Chuck Taylors. This is like the new style, new mm -hmm. cut. They, you know, the newer styles, they do some different things around the edges. We used to call these fish heads. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know anything about that. If I you're didn't. older, you've heard the term fish heads before. Uh -huh. But yeah, it's just that front is covered. You know, they made shell toe Adidas later. But back in, you imagine back in like the 70s, mm -hmm. this was the basketball shoe. That is crazy. The Chuck I could not imagine balling in this, bro. Your ankles, man. That is crazy. Your ankle support was on some non-existence. Right, man. <laughs> That's why the players of today mm -hmm. absolutely dominate in that era because they're playing people that are used to playing in like chucks and stuff and so they can't even play to like as hard as people would these days you know but they played hard it's just different eras it's hard to match up different eras yeah because everything was different nutrition was different weight training was different mm -hmm. you know all that rules were different there you go anyway this is the chuck 70 comme des garçons play yeah what do you think about them i love them yeah yeah i mean you got them you chose them you picked them out i guess you do love them do i need to ask what your rating is yeah what's your rating i'll give them a nine a nine yeah okay I I would give these, I'd probably give them a nine too. I mean, yeah. as far as Chucks go, yeah. they're a fresh pair. Yeah, they are. And you know, I like the, the light midsole. I think the, the originals, you know, the regular Chuck Taylors, they have a white outsole. Mm -hmm. And this little cream off-white color is pretty cool. Yeah, and the Rick Owens white. There's white laces. Mm -hmm. You and your Rick Owens, man. <laughs> you love talking, he loves talking about Rick Owens. I need them. Do y'all like Rick Owens? You know Rick need Owens? Them. You need them. Yes. Are you a fan of the CDG <laughs> Converse? Let's stay here yeah. on this shoe. All right. Let us know if you have a pair, if you like them, what's your favorite colorway of the shoe? Yeah. Or do you like the highs or the lows? Mm -hmm. And um, next, I think, Nigel, you need to get these on feet, man, so we can see what they look nope. like. Lie. Thanks for hanging out today with us on this episode. Check us out on the next one. Matter of fact, why don't you check it out right now? Peace. Peace.